What's up guys, Brian here with Thomas. We are filming some videos for our kickboxing program here at the gym. If you're uh, watching uh, from outside the gym, we appreciate uh, the support. Subscribe to our channel, we upload stuff like this all the time. So if you like it, um, you know, jump on the bandwagon or whatever. So <clears throat> we're throwing with the tie clinch in this video. So this is, uh, I've been joking with all my students, Muay Thai is kind of like spicy judo. If like all the all the cool throws I like in judo are also these these Muay Thai people are doing them calling them sweeps and trips. Cool, I'm one of those Muay Thai people too, right? So <clears throat> the idea is um, throwing somebody with a tie clinch. Like, how do you do that? We actually got a question on our uh, on our channel for asking for throws from the tie clinch. We put up some pummeling drills, right? One, you got to have them off balance, all right? So let's talk about some ways to do that. If I had tie clinch double loop side. I'm trying to bury my elbows and his shoulder tie ins here. Okay, so it, it's almost like I form a, a, a triangle here. Now, depending on the type of glove you have on, now, like we've been drilling clinch in all of our classes, we're not even training with gloves a lot of times because we're clinch sparring and stuff. And um, <clears throat> we're not punching, we're just we're doing a lot of knees and sweeps and trips and snaps and stuff like that. Okay, so the idea here is he's just going to throw either both over the top or he might hang one off my elbow. Right, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, so here's the um, <clears throat> here's the idea. We've been doing all, a lot of our drills off of I need, he needs. Just because he don't have a clinch does not mean that he is not going to need. He is going to need, right? Especially if you're needing him. I know I do need too, even though I don't have a good position, right? And <clears throat> so this knee exchange will be working. Same thing as we put out on our collar and elbow clinch. If you haven't watched that, check it out. If he needs. I want to steer him while he's kneeing. We're just going to stay with this knee for consistency. Okay? I knee, he knees, I steer that way. Okay? I knee, he knees, I steer that way. Now, the thing is, I'm just steering because that's the entry for a free knee. Um, if he's off balance, I could knee him, but if he's off balance, I can throw him. So I'm going to basically kind of toss his head to the mat uh, and keep circling. We call this a head throw. It's one of the first throws I ever learned in, in uh, Thai boxing. Right? So here, I need, he needs, and I just, I get a good throw on that. All right? So I'm, I'm round stepping around him and just tossing his head to the mat. Okay? Here. I need, he needs. I need, he needs. I remember the first time I went to the IKF. It's a, it's a Thai boxing championship in Orlando, Florida that they have, and uh, my wife competed in it uh, a few times, won it twice for her division. And um, I remember seeing people just get dumped with this in the Muay Thai rules division and like being super inspired by it. I was like, I'm not about to throw. Right? And it's, it's real dynamic. They can't, they, they're just attuned to the situation. Oh, they need to dump. So think about that. It's very, very good option. Okay? Now, um, I need... He needs. I need. He needs. Let's say I go for it while he's kneeing and I don't get it. I need. So again, if you miss the head throw, you get a free knee. One other situation. Here's the thing. Why do people want to know uh, throws for Muay Thai rules or for sport? It's so they can get what they call a knock. If you're striking competition and you hit the mat and I don't, that's a, that's points. I got a knock down. I tell people if I hit a sweet dump on you, knock you down, uh, or, or you know I, I hit you with a punch, you get tripped, fall over, or whatever, it's kind of all looks the same. So think about that for your, your tie rules. It's like, yeah, the other guy fell down. There's so many ways people fall down in tie boxing um, with the sweeps and trips being added that uh, it's just like, oh, knock down, knock down. Oh, they both fell down. Not a knock down. Nothing happened, right? So here's the idea is I need, he needs. If I get a good knee and push his hips back, I'm going to switch to this front headlock, okay? I can go snatch and stuff in the front headlock, but if this ever occurs in the clinch, I can snap too, right? So this, if we put, you check out our car and elbow video, and we'll do a front headlock clinch video as well before we test on this stuff. But like right there, I could, I could scissor throw, scissor throw, snap, knee, right? So kind of reviewing on that. Knee, 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 knee. I push his hips back. Sorry. That's a good one. 
But guys, here's the thing. You get you get in, in moving and turning with this sort of drilling, and you notice that he's off balance. You can, while he was here or here, I'm able to steer him into the front headlock. So it's it's about when you do things. I can't force things to happen in the clinch. I need to wait till you need an off balance me. I can be moving and turning and trying to off balance you, but still then I'm doing a lot of the work. Right? You gotta time this stuff. Because a clinch work has a a fine timing to it, it's like a grappling art, and it has sensitivity to it, like you're touching the other person, whereas you're hitting pads, it's a distance there, right? So <laughs> think about some of that stuff. And you know, if I'm if I'm at the tie clinch and you, you poke your hips back because you're not used to that, a lot of even tie boxing gyms in the West don't train clinch, and it's like the rules of the sport here in the West are like that. But if you get somebody like this, you snap them down or you knee them in the face, right? Or you just hit your head throw. Any of those throws you're trying to hit in tie clinch don't work. You didn't set them up right, your off balance wasn't there, that's a free knee. All right, thanks for watching, guys.